What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video with me. I feel like you're gonna be excited about this one because we are having a beauty day today. I honestly have been like so busy for the past few weeks. I had a lot of traveling, lack of sleep, so I feel like it definitely shows on my face very quickly. So I'm taking a full day pretty much of work. I mean, except the fact that I'm filming, but I'm going to have a massage now. I just uh, dropped a leg off at school so i'm gonna have a massage now I'm gonna focus on eating healthy foods then also we are having nails later on and facial it's actually a facial that i never tried before it's called face gym so it they're focused on like giving you a best face massage that just really like stimulates the muscles so i'm really really excited about that one so guys i'll take you along to my beauty day today it does not look like a beauty today right now in the morning but we'll get there <laughs> Anyway, just to talk a little bit about massages, like I feel like massages are so important for people that are working out regularly like me. I work out approximately five to six times a week. So my muscles are definitely very, very tense if I don't have massages. So I do massage once a week. Honestly, my goal also incorporates at least one yoga session a week because I do feel like yoga definitely makes such a big difference on the body and on overall health so yeah that's my kind of goal to squeeze in this too but for now i just only have massage okay guys let's rock and roll the day what's up guys i'm on my way to do my nails super late already have my second green juice because today we're all about self-care took a good nap at massage oh god i needed a self-care day like kyle recommend when you feel drained run down just take one day and just do all the things you want for yourself anyway guys now i'm running to manicure i'm gonna take you along there because honestly like i've been getting so many questions about my nails which shape i make what are my favorite colors which technique i use are my nails real or not so i thought it will be like a great idea to take you along to my girl irina she is the only person i trust my nails to she's literally the best in miami i ever tried and you guys can hear all the answer from a person who actually does my nails right let's go guys we are with our beauty queen Irina planning to do my nails it's four weeks long I have already big cloth as you see a lot of actually my subscribers tell that I showcase my nails a lot I talk with my hands yeah I said when the hands are so beautiful when the nails are so beautiful I gotta show them I gotta make it worth it anyway so today I'm planning to like shorten it a little bit and make it probably red Wow, uh -huh. surprise. <laughs> She's surprised because usually I'm doing natural colors most of the time yeah. or white. Today yeah. we're going for red, but I'll share with you guys a little later my favorite colors because people always ask me my favorite colors, but I don't remember the names. So <laughs> that's the reason okay. why I'm filming here today. So Irina actually te can tell us which colors we use and also which shape. I don't know which shape it is. This almond shape. Almond shape. Okay, write it down. And it's what? Hard gel. I always say hard it's hard gel. gel. Yes. It's hard gel. And it's what, like, which kind of technique is this? Because people ask me so many questions and I don't know the answers. Mm. It's your signature. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's like gel with straightening. Yeah? With straightening, yeah. gel with straightening, yeah. Okay guys, so I'll, I'll show you a little bit of a process. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. So guys, we're putting base coat first to like straighten. No, first it's just base base. Okay, sorry. <laughs> the professional is talking. So this is like for everyone who wanted to know, this is my basically nail without the gel. So it is my real nail. But my nails would never be that long without this hard gel, that's for sure. You remember, Irina, when I came, my nails were like short. Yeah. Short, the meat was coming out of the nail. <laughs> yeah. It was butchered. Yeah, but now you have beautiful nails. Now I have beautiful nails. Guys, 
yeah, so as I wanted to film and the end all the colors, all our favorite colors, the battery died. So I asked Karina to send me all the favorite colors of mine. You know, she made a little video and she sent me all the names of the uh, colors. So the brand that we are using for the hard gel is called Luxio. I believe it's Eastern European brand. I don't know where exactly it's from, but it is not American, I think. So from the favorite color, I have Retro, which is a bit like Bardot then tantalizing is the one i'm wearing today then we have koi we have inside which is also natural heaven passion is pretty good and pure so those are my favorite colors that i usually like rotate and do regularly i do tend to uh, do more of a darker colors towards like winter time if i go for winter vacations honestly in miami i most of the time do natural colors just because you're wearing summer clothes here and you just kind of want to your nails to be more neutral and soft in color. I get a lot of questions like how do I always make this gel and how it doesn't ruin my nails. Honestly, I've been wearing gel for the last 10 years, so I know my nails are not in the best state, but one thing I learned that I cannot be without the gel. Like I used to, I mean, fun fact or sad fact, I used to bite my nails like crazy in high school, like to the point that I would have like meat coming out of my nails. And my mom took me one day and she did a gel cut on my nails and I stopped biting them because obviously it was not as tasty but also it wasn't good for health and also it was a very hard surface surface yeah very hard surface to bite so I uh, stopped biting them and since then honestly like I've just been loving to have a hard gel on my nails my nails are not the strongest one naturally so uh, this is a chance for me to have a longer nails that are staying and looking nice so for those who are struggling with their nails and kind grow them out and trying to like find a way honestly this is the only way again this is a hard gel so it is not like shellac or whatever this thing they do in america that doesn't stay longer than one week this is a hard gel eastern european technique they call it russian manicure in a lot of salons so i feel like now there is availability of this type of manicure pretty much in every country so i'm highly recommend for you to check it out but if you guys are in miami i'm highly 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 recommend you to check out Irina since Instagram. It's right here. She is amazing at nails. Uh, she has a couple girls working for her. I know Irina is super booked, but you can use her other students that are also amazing. And also Irina is just launched her classes for those who wants to learn how to do nails. It is only in-person classes. So for only people that lives in Miami. It is relevant for people that are out of Miami. It's not possible, but one day maybe when she do online classes, I'm also gonna let you know. Anyway, guys, I'm moving on with my day. Can't wait to have this facial. Since we're all about beauty today, I also wanted to give you like a little update of my body care routine. You guys know I told you many times I am a lover of like creams and body oil, but I'm also very picky with them. Like I don't like when it feels sticky or it feels like greasy on the body. So those products are pretty good and also like have a lot of benefits in them. It's Lendava. I already told you about this brand of my friend. I'm really obsessed with her product. They're just so great. But one product specifically that I I wanted to tell you about today is this Lidawa body care which is body cream with retinol honestly it's like something new to me because I do use retinol for my face for about a year because I do feel like I'm already getting to like 30s and I'm just like I want to do something extra for my skin because it is it is true that as closer you get to 30 the regeneration of cells slows down a little more so I feel like it's important to keep your skin moisturized to kind of support this natural processes right and I know that retinol is one of these ingredients that are that is proven to help regenerate the cells so I've been using retinol for my face for about a year twice or three times a week I'm actually using this brand that I've also told you about that I'm like really obsessed with because it's affordable but also it's it really works like I think it's a really good quality I actually don't have an actual proper packaging this is by mistake about a refill but anyway I'm still able to like use it it's a retinol renewal cream I use number one which is uh, like the lightest version of retinol 
and it's a brand called Fig One and they have a number one, retinol number one, retinol number two, retinol number three. So you can gradually increase the amount of retinol in your cream. So this way you're not gonna break out and you're not gonna like react because retinol can be a little harsh on the skin. My skin, I feel like takes it well, especially now that I've been using it for a while. And now I'm trying retinol body cream. It's honestly been probably a week I'm using it and I didn't have any reactions. One thing I noticed, like I definitely notice a more of an even skin tone after use of retinol on my face and on my body. Like you, you notice right away this like healthy glow. So for those who are in late 20s, early 30s, I feel like it's I'm in this stage where I'm unsure if it's like time for Botox or some extra stuff, but I'm still holding off it and I'm just trying to do more face massages, more creams, more masks, more, more of like self-care routines. So I definitely highly recommend you to look into retinol creams. And this one is Lendava Body Care Retinol Cream for Body is amazing. Looks like this. It's like a body butter. You do have to uh, put it at night. You cannot put retinol during day. And in the morning, you're good to go. I wouldn't use it still like if you go to the beach. If you know you're going to the beach the next day i wouldn't use a retinol the day before but that's pretty much it guys and of course always use sunscreen because the sun is strong especially in miami we are on our microcurrent step this is our beauty queen Lana <laughs> it's my first time doing face gym and honestly I'm so excited because I've been watching her Instagram for about six months and always wanted to come so finally this day has come and let's see how I'm gonna look after <laughs> okay guys I have some weird face movement and Lana aware me that it's absolutely normal <laughs> Mm -hmm. So like if you're relaxed in this part here, you're getting a way of fresh blood and oxygen to supply to your skin of the face uh -huh. to stimulate collagen and deliver all the nutrients. I always have a problem here because I have a tightness here yeah, and sometimes it gives me a, a headaches. Yep. Feel especially when I feel stressed or something, I feel like it's yeah. naturally that I'm tiring. That's why it's so important to relax here first. Uh -huh. See? You feel this? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay guys, today is not only pleasure, but also I love that Lana actually educating me. She showed me some tricks for massage. Maybe next time we're gonna do a little lesson for our viewers, <laughs> but I definitely learned something new from her. And she told me that every time you end the face massage, you we press are, here, no? Yeah, we are activating the lymphatic system by the collarbone to drain all the fluids after massage, to release all the tension and to drain. Mm -hmm. Amazing. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> 